Mexico never ceases to amaze me. Welcome to Guanajuato. In this video, I will cover some interesting not to be missed hotspots, places that make Guanajuato alluring and too majestic to deny. By the end of the video, you will be planning your next holiday adventure. Founded in 1554 and rose to importance as a result of a large amount of minerals, especially silver. During the 18th century, it was the number one producer of silver in the world. Its charming city centre is a compact, haphazard array of narrow cobblestone streets and alleyways. In addition, a university gives the place a young hip vibe. Houses are crammed with old churches, fine colonial mansions and a theatre. Its surrounding hillside is a patchwork of sherbet coloured houses in perfect disorganisation. And what is it? Queso fundido. Fundido. <laughs> Just for the evening's entertainment, just have a couple of beers on hand and head out for this two plus hour tour. A group of professional musicians and actors are working hard to get you excited and entertained whilst leading you through the narrow alleyways of the city. If you don't have a good grasp of the language, you can still appreciate the quality of the music and the instrument playing. Wandering the alleyway beside the Theatre Juarez, you come across the funicular that ascends to El Pipala. Here you overlook one of the city's most panoramic views. The statue of Pipala commemorates the hero of the city. His brave actions achieved the first victory for the Mexican independence struggle. Here we are, we finally made it to Guanajuato in La Papilla. El Papilla. Monumento al, al Papilla. Monumento. And anyway, we are, we're <laughs> up here. <laughs> Sometimes you need to get away from the city, breathe the fresh mountain air, and lose yourself in the natural beauty. We started our journey in the heart of El Centro. This route explores Serra de la Bufa, a mountain with impressive rock formations south of the city of Guanajuato. The city centre is relatively flat, while the outskirts up to El Pipala is a steep uphill walk. You can take the funicular up to the Panorama Road, where it is a short walk to the trailhead. We 
chose to continue the trail around the backside of the mountain. Reaching the top to find a white cross with exceptional views into the city and beyond. We descended via the steep loose path. Built in the 1770s with funds from the mines, the brightly coloured facade is largely original, in contrast to its bold exterior. The basilica's interior is a wash of delicate pastels, marble floors and shiny crystal. Be prepared to feel something when you enter. You will be confronted with deaf, dead adults, children and infants. Some have expressions on their faces. As a result of the cholera outbreak in 1833 and a grave tax imposed, when not paid by a relative, a deceased loved one would be promptly dug up and evicted. The extensive grounds of this former hacienda was originally designed as a metal refinery. The crumbling courtyards are home to a series of beautiful designed and well tended gardens. got the English garden coming into the Mexican garden, the Jardin Mexicano, as you would expect. Lots of cactus, clay pots, agave, coming into Jardin de los Lirios, Garden of the Lilies. But there's none at the moment. Coming upstairs to the second floor of the casa. It's really beautiful and gardens are huge. Period furniture, which displays a strong Spanish influence popular with the wealthy families during the colonial era. And massive wood furnishings provide a glimpse into the upper class life during the 17th century. Oh, there are stories to tell the times we grew and the times we fell Oh, I've been afraid some days But the world will lead us to a better place better place Oh, there are stories to tell Times we grew and the times we fell 
afraid some days And the road will lead us to a better place oh, there are 